Good day. We are the Ignatian Circle, group number four. And today, we will be talking about heroism. What are the four pillars of a heroic leader and how St. Ignatius encouraged the Jesuit team? By the end of the discussion, we are expected to identify the following. First is the definition of heroism. Second is to know more about the characteristic of a heroic leader. And lastly, to know more about the Jesuit culture on how they were encapsulated in a simple company motto, which is the Magis, meaning more. So sit back, relax, and enjoy our presentation. What is heroism? Heroism is a very complex idea, shaped by the culture, religion, and the crisis that our society faces. In fact, heroism can be described as a way of problem solving. Valor, virtue, honor, and selflessness. For Chris Loney's unique concept of leadership that was inspired by the spirituality of Saint Ignatius of Loyola, he created four pillars of heroic leadership. It includes self-awareness, ingenuity, love, and heroism. Heroic leadership is a magis-driven leadership. Inevitably, leads to heroism. Heroism begins with each person considering, internalizing, and shaping his or her mission. Magis driven leaders either make them different or make the most of them. Heroism eliciting great desires. Like heroes extract gold from the opportunities at hand rather than waiting for golden opportunities to be handed to them. Just like great leaders, they don't just sit and wait for a miracle to happen. They strive hard for what they aim to make it happen. Just like St. Ignatius encouraged Jesuit team from Italy that they should endeavor to conceive great resolves and elicit equally great desires. Jesuits were also driven by a restless energy, encapsulated in a simple company motto, Magis, always something more and something greater. How did the Jesuits build the most successful religious company in history? And how do individuals become leaders today? It is by knowing themselves, by innovating to embrace a changing world, by loving self and others, and by aiming high. A closer look at the four pillars of heroic leadership by Chris Long, specifically on the leadership principle of heroism. Chris Long did not mean that to be a great leader, you must be a strong person like Hercules, who was a very monstrous strength and faced his enemies in combat. Heroism here is to be understood best as the employment of constant personal motivation as a method of motivating others. A good leader is constantly striving with conviction towards improvement and growth. Also, a good leader is a visionary means that he or she is carefully planning out the future. In this principle, it guides the leaders to be more or to do something more, which is the motto or the education principle meaning to do more or to do something way beyond our capabilities. An example of this principle is a CEO of a web designing company. The CEO constantly checks on his employees about 
how they are doing? Is something hindering them from working efficiently? And also, inspiring his employees to do good on their job and also to aim excellence in all their works. All of them, all together with the CEO, working together, they can achieve excellence. This is an example of a good leader and not a boss. To be a hero, you do not need to have the physical attributes that most of our fictional heroes have. Being a hero means to be there with the people, to help them, and in return, they will also help you, and together you will be victorious. In conclusion, heroism defines as a way of problem solving that substantiates a human quality. Its characteristics include courage, virtue, honor, and selflessness. And the way to possess heroism is the ability to apply the magic-driven relationship with others. Always something more, always something greater. Indeed, all of us are leaders in our society. We aim high for others, give everything that we have to attain the goal, and we are brave. In short, heroism is a broad term for opportunity seeker. And so, we must always bring forth this aspect of heroism in our daily mission throughout our journey with humanity. Like what St. Francis of Loyola said to the Jesuit team in Italy, endeavor to conceive great resolves and elicit equality with great desires.